What is up seashells and welcome back to another vlog if you are new here i am shelly your new favorite youtuber and if you've already been here then it is just your favorite youtuber this is like a just woke up today decided not even just woke up today but literally came upstairs like let me grab my camera because i'm gonna vlog today today i had off and i have like a few things that i need to do i need to go grocery shopping i was about to go downstairs and make myself a cup of coffee when I realized I don't even have any milk. That is so unlike me. So we're gonna go to the grocery store. I gotta get a few things. I also need to stop at the bank. And it's kind of just like my, I don't wanna say like my monthly reset. It's kind of like my weekly slash monthly reset what I have to do today. So just figured I could bring you guys along and kind of like spin my day off because I've been working the last couple days and um, today was like, you know, it's the start of the weekend. So maybe we could just do like a weekend reset I just have like a few things I need to get done today So, um, i'm gonna bring you guys along if you haven't already make sure that you are subscribed to my channel Because we would love to have you and I realized that a lot of y'all aren't subscribed I don't know what's up with that was t y'all coming back for the content, but y'all not subscribed I'm just switching over my purse really quick so I'm gonna switch from my hobo bag over to which what is this on my bag I'm gonna switch from my hobo bag over to my dummy a print throwback Louis Vuitton bag this is actually the first ever handbag that I ever got so or like designer handbag that I ever got um, which is funny because one of you guys gave me a really cool idea like video idea um, that I'm gonna do coming up so stay tuned for that but yeah i'm switching my purse over now and just put in like all my necessities in my bag i not forget my gum i also need something on my lips my lips are kind of dry right now I'm also going to bring my claritin because allergy season is upon us and it has already started kicking my butt my eyes Yesterday, you guys, I woke up, my eyes were puffy. It looked like I had been crying all night. They were so puffy, like so swollen because my eyes have been watering so bad. My nose has been itchy the whole night. So I have the allergy eye drops. I got the Claritin. I got the nasal spray. <laughs> I'm trying to get prepared because I cannot go through this. Like allergy season is not a friend to me. And let me put something on my lips. I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing really quick. I just put on like the comfiest outfit. And then I kind of fake it. Like fake dress it up with like a little trench coat <laughs> and sunglasses and a bag. I'm like queen of accessorizing. All right, here we go. Let me show you. Also, while I'm at it, let me show you guys my office. I kind of like switched my office around and I'm here for it. I feel like I switch my office around like every two months. But we got the new desk chair which i love it is so comfy you can like lean back in it it's like lifting the legs up but you, when you're sitting on it you can lean back in it and um i just moved like my little drawer thing over here which i'm probably going to get rid of that honestly because it just accumulates a lot of junk but for now it's over there in the corner and then i moved the plant i put this chair this is the chair that used to be in my bedroom at the old house on the desk i mean of uh, the desk chair and then i just put this pillow here it's not gonna stay here i'm just like whatever um and then i really do want to get rid of my rug maybe like take the rug downstairs because it just rolls up like i don't know what to do to stop it from doing that but um i put my little bench over there i moved my clothing rack here which i'm gonna switch out the clothes that are on here for like spring i just have you know this here for now 
and I moved the mirror over here which I'm also going to get another mirror because I really want one that's like taller and the um arched mirror is more my vibe so I think I'm going to switch that out also but I can still show my little outfit of the days over here so in the background so much better than having like my bed in the background in the mirror in my bedroom but i'm just wearing these sweatpants i always wear these these are like wide leg i don't know if they're well they're kind of like sweatpants but they're a little more of a slouchy dressy material and then i just have on the skims t-shirt um it's the boyfriend collection heather gray t-shirt my trench coat is from boohoo man bag is I showed you guys the Louis Vuitton Damier print and then my oversized Gucci sunglasses. I just have on a gray headband because y'all, it is time for me to get my hair done. My hair is struggling, okay? But this is the outfit, really cute, simple. I have on gold accessories. It ended up coming together nicely because like I said, I'm queen of accessorizing. So really cute, simple grocery shopping errands outfit of the day um another thing that i wanted to show y'all is my closet in here i did some organizing but it is like still chaos i'm like i get rid of so much stuff and it seems like i didn't get rid of anything so here is like my makeup organization i wanted to do like a full makeup video or like makeup organizing video but it just wasn't turning out how i wanted it to I'm gonna insert the clip of what it looked like before. <laughs> you are so handsome. I can't even take it. I can't even take it. I ordered all of these little containers. I have two more that are coming. No, I have four more that are coming tomorrow. They're like bigger ones. These are much smaller than I thought they would be, but I figured these could be good for like mascaras, lip liners, lipsticks, glosses, all the little things. I have four of them. And then they come in like different sizes. So these are a little bit bigger, as you can see. And then these are like smaller. And then the four that are coming tomorrow are like bigger drawers. So yeah, I'm going to start. I want to show you guys because moment of truth. Look at the chaos. <laughs> and then I got storage up there. I have a ton of storage in this closet, but I just start like throwing stuff in there. My perfumes, everything, fragrances. It's like a literal mess. And it stresses me out every time I come in here. I have a bin that I've been creating for like giveaway stuff. I have a ton of PR stuff. It's just... And it's all like shelves down here. I got camera equipment, sunglasses, um, stuff for like my business over there. It's it's a lot. So I'm gonna get get started going through stuff, and then yeah, we'll figure it, we'll figure it out. But I just wanted to show you guys because we're being truthful over here. This is what it looks like right now, a mess. And this is what it looks like now. I started off filming that video, but it just wasn't turning out how I wanted it to and so i just never ended up doing it but i could still show you guys what it looks like a lot of these organizers i got from amazon some of these i already had like these bigger bins i already had and then the like drawers i got off of amazon so um this i already had where my makeup brushes are my perfume is all here i have more perfume over here on this little spin around tray i also had this for a long time and then this is just like a bunch of miscellaneous like primers um concealers extra mascaras hand sanitizers lashes blushes we got a whole lot of like things that i just couldn't figure out where they needed to go um but i didn't want to get rid of them so they're all over here this is a whole bin of lashes you guys over there that's like product stuff for my own business and then my sunglasses over here I'm still trying to figure out organization for my sunglasses this is like all of like my camera equipment boxes things like that are all there my lights are all here all of my foundation is here this is powders bronzers things like that it's kind of messy already because I have been going in it but um like I said powders and bronzers are here this is all setting sprays and primers here 
palettes, face palettes, um, eyeshadow, things like that all here in this bin. And then fragrances are here. These are all blushes and it's all open. highlighters are all in here. And then we have more blushes. These are more like cream blushes as well as a few of my powder blushes are in there. Concealers are in here. Um, more concealers as well as like correctors. This is a blush. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, concealers, blush. <laughs> that shouldn't be in there. And then correctors are all in there. And here we got lip glosses. These are all lip glosses there. More glosses. These are some of like matte glosses in there. This is lipsticks in there. Um, mascara. I got two drawers actually for mascara because all of my mascara couldn't fit. I found so many different like mascaras that I had never used that were still in the packaging and I'm now using everything because I can see it all. And then here we got brow pencils, brow gels, things like that. This is more gloss. We just got, we have more lip products and I'm sure it's not shocking, but more lip products than anything. These are all, look, it's like tight jammed in here, but these are all of my like YSL lip shines and lipsticks. Um, this is my drawer for color eyeshadows, like eyeshadow pencils, shadow sticks, I guess. And then more, more of that. This is liquid blushes, like rare beauty products, as well as like matte lipsticks. Oh, you guys can't see, but like liquid blushes, matte lipsticks, things like that from rare beauty. These are all of my nude sticks blushes up here. These are eyeliners, yeah, eyeliner pencils and things like that. And then more mascara over here. Lip liners, crazy amount of lip liners in there. More lipsticks and lip products. Um, these are all of my Fenty lip lipsticks. Fenty hooks me up. Okay, I have more products from Fenty than any other brand. Um, more lip glosses. Are we shocked? No. And these are all of my NYX um, matte lip products I used to love and I was so happy when I found them all again. And then these are my Fenty lip glosses. What the... What is going on here okay here we go so Fenty lip glosses I have so many a lot of these I bought with my own money they weren't PR so I when I say I really love their products I really do and let's put that back. like I said it's still super chaotic but it's more organized for me and now I'm using more of my products and a lot of my products that I kind of forgot about. I can see all of like my fragrances and stuff. I also have some fragrances back here. Um, so yeah, like I still see everything. I can like get everything. Everything is within reach and I don't have to go really digging for stuff, which I like. I just have like some of my most worn bags here, which I need to get their duster bags and put them in, but ugh, look bring my extra lens and things um i think i have my other memory card in here i'm trying to think if there's anything else i need to grab i'm gonna take you guys off this tripod and put you on my car tripod so that i can put my tripod in my bag and then i think i'm also going to switch you guys onto a different lens why am i zooming i think i'm going to put you guys on the wide angle lens a lot of you guys were commenting saying that you really liked the wide angle lens better so I'm going to switch and put you guys on a different lens. Hold on. We're back. A lot of you guys are saying this is your favorite lens. And I don't know. After watching the footage back, I'm like, this one, the quality is impeccable. Okay? But nothing beats the wide angle. I just love it so much. So we're going to be switching back in between the different lens. And having this camera bag is a game changer because i would always have to carry so much with me and now all i have is like this in hand and my camera lens and i'm also going to put this in my bag 
which I'll just, just stick it in here. My extra battery, let's put that in there. I'm also going to wear these New Balance sneakers here. They are only available on Go. I get so many questions about these and I have them linked down below in my LTK, so be sure to check that out. But these are like the perfect pair of sneakers, you guys. Like they are super comfortable and they go with so many different looks. So we're gonna bring that. Let me grab my phone. Do you wanna come with mom? Do you wanna come? <laughs> Is that a yes? You wagging your tail like that? Do you wanna come with me? You can come with me if you want. You can if you want. If you wanna come with me, come on. <laughs> I was about to leave out and completely forgot that I did not do my fragrance of the day. So. We are doing the Fenty by Rihanna perfume. Something about spraying perfume on the back of your neck brings all the boys to the yard. I don't know why, it just does. We can get out of here for all this time. I got my shoes, I mean my, my bag, my shoes, and can't forget you guys. so proud of myself for remembering to bring my bags in the store and <laughs> such a savage of me to bring Walmart recyclable bags into Target <laughs> I ended up pulling my cart to the end cap or like the end part of the um, self-checkout lane because I wasn't gonna have them bag my stuff in the Walmart bags so I pull my cart to the end of the self-checkout and the employee is standing right there and I'm like, oh my God, I forgot my bags in the car. I'm like, can I run to my car to get my recyclable bags? Cause I really, you know, listen, I have so many plastic bags. And one thing about black people, we collect plastic bags. We won't get rid of them. We keep them. We got drawers for them, cabinets for them. It's ridiculous. So I have accumulated a ton of plastic bags. I'm like, nope. From now on, I bought these recyclable bags years ago. I'm going to start using them. Today was that day. I was like, oh my God, I remember I have my bags in my car. Can I run and get them? She was like, yeah, sure. Almost like she didn't even want to watch my cart for a second, which whatever. I guess it's not in her job description, but girl, fix your attitude. So I'm like, okay. I was still very chipper. That's one thing. When you're kind of nice, nasty to me, I will be very nice to you. I don't match energy, boo. So you want to be nasty to me? okay like she was really very much like okay and i was like okay thank you <laughs> so i pulled the cart over there next to where she was and i run out to the car and i'm gone for maybe like two minutes i come back i'm like thank you so much for watching my cart and i got the walmart bags in hand she was looking at me like nose turned up and then the other customers were looking at me crazy too i'm like hi guys <laughs> let's keep the planet safe <laughs> use recyclable bags i'm sick of me i know they were sick of me because i'm sick of me but it was one lady in there she was a um she was a like slightly older black woman very beautiful spirit very very beautiful spirit go ahead go ahead babe you don't stop at stop signs it's crazy but anyway it was a black woman in there she had a very soft like beautiful spirit she was like as i was walking back up i saw that there were two open um what do you call them geez so checkout counters right you know they were open so i told her i said oh you, there are a few um self checkout lines open at the end over there she was like oh thank you so much i'm like you're welcome and then once i grabbed my cart i went to the one that was next to hers she was like you look so nice i was like thank you so then you know we like finished up and she was done before me so she was like thank you so much again and uh, she's like you have a good day i was like you too 
like y'all see how far kindness goes <laughs> I'm like, because the clerk, she was just, she was a mess, baby. I don't know. She probably just didn't want to be at work today. We ain't going to charge it to our heart. I'm at my bank. I'm about to deposit some money because we're going to pay bills early. And um, here's to adulting, boys and girls. Here's to adulting. It's my least favorite thing <laughs> to do. Trader Joe's I got red apples I feel like it's better to actually see but I got bright red apples oranges I was gonna get green apples but they didn't really have any that looked really appealing so I'm just using these that I have here these like really really old green apples but they're a nice touch of color and um, I just use them for decor at this point but I got two lemon three lime and three avocado i got three tomatoes and one red onion from target i got garlic powder i got the big one because i use so much garlic 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 powder french rolls for sub sandwiches two cases of eggs because you can never have too many frozen home run-in pizza the chicago wins know what's up i got garlic knots these are my favorite to have with pasta mild cheddar cheese mozzarella sliced cheese I've never tried the Velveeta slices. I only always get craft, but I like Velveeta mac and cheese, so I figured this would be good. Bananas, pulp-free orange juice. Can't believe it's not butter. My favorite dip. I could eat this whole thing by myself. If I'm like having people over, I have this dip with sweet and, not sweet and sour, I'm sorry, um, sour cream and onion chips and and then I just got some lunch meat, vanilla flavored almond milk for Leia, silk oat milk for me. This is my favorite oat milk and it is so hard to find it. Target always has it, but every other grocery store, I feel like they never have it. And I also got chai because I want to make a dirty chai. My favorite chips, these Cape Cod sea salt and vinegar, I think. Yeah, sea salt and vinegar. These are my favorite to have with a sub sandwich fire sour cream and onion chips to go with the um french onion dip i kind of got like more snacky type of things this week because last week when i went i got more like protein i got the salmon the plant-based meat the yogurt like more healthy food options like the um lettuce and things like that whereas this week i'm just gonna get like more of the snacky type things and foods that we run out of quicker i got alani's these are my favorite and then i didn't know that they had the minis like this so i got leia two of these then i got some like household stuff more of my plugins box of kleenex because allergies season is upon us um i told you guys about this brand before i use their all-purpose cleaner i use the wood cleaner i use the um like glass cleaner and they came out with this one i don't know i think oh it's a seasonal collection it's a new scent it's chamomile and cedar and it's the all-purpose cleaner i needed a new one for my bathroom so i just decided to try the new one also grab some feminine products more band-aids because leia puts band-aid like it does not change you guys like just because kids grow up certain things never change leia when she was younger she would always take the band-aids and put them on old scars and things like that and now she still takes band-aids for like no reason at all i don't know i don't know why but she wastes the band-aids all the time and then i got tissue i've never tried this brand of tissue but it's the same as this brand so i'm like okay <laughs> tissue is tissue right we use it for the same things leia's favorite cereal all right, so I'm gonna put everything away because it's been sitting in my car for a little bit while I was in Trader Joe's. Also, I'm gonna make the espresso martini. I know I told you guys in the last vlog and I saw like a couple of you guys wanted to know how I made it because you didn't see during Vlogmas when I made it. So I'll show you guys how I make the espresso martini with my Nespresso machine, but we're gonna do that later. 
right now I'm just gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna head upstairs and get some stuff done that I need to finish up and then we'll we'll touch base forgot to show you guys this cup that I got today it has like a very pretty floral design on it and clearly I'm into this color for spring because I've already had that candle and then this vase I got last year but this cup is also that color very cute and i didn't even show you guys the arrangement it turned out so pretty i really love the eucalyptus leaves and this was a cheap arrangement i think the eucalyptus leaves were like 3.99 the baby's breath is like 2.99 or something like that and then the little flowers i don't know what they're called but they were like 2 or 3.99 as well so very cheap and this will last much longer than my normal arrangements I don't know I've been like killing off my arrangements lately but this one is so so pretty and it looks really good in the kitchen I also really love this fruit bowl on the counter it just looks the kitchen just looks so good I'm here for it and it is so so windy outside I keep hearing my wreath on my door the little latch i keep hearing it hitting the door but it's so pretty so pretty out i love that this is my view from my dining room as well as my bedroom every day i wake up to this like what god did okay god did <laughs> i'm sitting in my office and i think we all can agree that this is a better set up right <laughs> it looks so much cleaner i like the look of like the clothes in the background which brings me to the reason why i even turned on the camera i'm actually about to go online do some online shopping not real online shopping just like get a couple spring pieces i want some color in my wardrobe I was looking at my clothes i'm like i really don't have a lot of color and i actually am someone who loves you know loves colors so i want to get like some more sweat shirts and like tops i also need some pants too so i might as well just do like some summer shopping i plan to like spend more time in the city this summer because i feel like last year i just really didn't like last year i was this blink 182 sweatshirt is super cute but last year i feel like i didn't spend a lot of time in the city i feel like i just really didn't do much of anything but i want to go on like a couple of trips and you know let me turn the sound off i just want to go on a couple of trips this year and i have actually i have something planned for next month i'm like this year is supposed to be my year of travel and here i am always at home it's because home is my safe place i love home but i really want to do more trips and i don't want to stay like vacation because i don't need a vac like this being at home is a vacation spot for me, 100%. I love it here. But I also know that I'm a content creator and I need to, you know, get out in the world. So I want to go online and just order like some cute outfits and just put a couple things together. Maybe do, finally do an outfit video for you guys because I finally have a semi-decent or like a decent setup here in the office i feel like moving my desk closer to the wall really made a difference and opened up the space for me and i love it i'm actually very happy with the fact that i decided on a clear desk for my office because i feel like it doesn't take up a lot of eye space and i was even like doing some test shoots or like test shots in here to see for like an outfit video that i want to do for you guys and i feel like this wide angle lens is really going to give me exactly what i need so i'm really happy about that but i am looking on a few different websites so that i can order some clothes hold on because i really want to get like some dresses some really cute dresses i want to get some more sweatshirts i'm going to go through my closet donate a lot of stuff that i no longer want to wear because i feel like the more oh this is a cute sweatshirt so i might order this one but oh shoot i want to get an xl okay anyway but i feel like i just have like so many ideas for different outfits and you guys have been asking me to make an outfit video for the longest time a lot of you guys always comment on like my different outfit ideas and like the way i accessorize and things like that and 
I want to do that for you guys, especially for like spring summers though. I'm on here looking at different um, like sweatshirts and stuff because I have some ideas for outfits that I want to put together. But look at this one sweatshirt. Hold on. I'm going to take you guys off the tripod on Urban Outfitters and it is so cute. I want to get it in an XL and it's, it's the Blink 182 punk sweatshirt. Look at the back. So cute. So I'm going to put that in the bag. And then they have it in purple. I'm not really crazy about the purple one, but I really love this one. This is so cute. I'm going to put that in the bag too. I might not get both, but just in case. So that's that. And then I'm going to go on to commence. They have a bunch of like cute. I really love this jacket, but this isn't the season. I like this cardigan. It's so cute. And you could just do so much with this, but like I said, I want to do more color. This is a sweatshirt that I was thinking about right here, but they don't have an XL and I love my sweatshirts in the XL because they're just like that oversized look that I always go for. Um, and then here, let me look. Let's go to women's. It's so funny, I feel like the fashion, I don't like any of this, but I feel like the fashion nowadays is going back to what it was in like the 2015s. It's so funny with like the pearls. <laughs> Actually the pearls, what year was that? Was that 2014, 2013? I can't remember, but like the pearls, the polka dot look, like all of this very much 2014, 2015. So like I said, I'm just gonna do some online shopping, see if I can find some cute items worth the money. Another thing that I'm really into is the off the shoulder look. I'm getting back into the off the shoulder um, tops and I feel like that'll be perfect for like spring, summer with the balm, the Patrick Ta body balm that I bought during the Sephora sale. I think that'll be cute soon. I'm trying to find this bag. It was so cute. Like, where did it go? Here it is, right here. I really like this look. This bag right here, I really like. It's a cute shoulder bag. I wish they had a photo of it on, but I really like. So that's pretty much what I'm up to. <laughs> I'm just doing some online shopping and then I also was doing some work on my website because I figured out or I decided that I'm gonna go like a completely different route. Not completely different route, but like how I have my website set up now is more so the vibe that I wanna go for with my website and not what I was doing originally. So I switched up a ton. I haven't really put in much work um, this month, which I am just all over the place, but I'm getting it together. I also really want to, okay, I'm not gonna talk about it, but pretty soon it don't all make sense why i have a website so i'm getting that all set up and it's coming together so nicely and i'm excited i'm learning how to set this all up it's crazy because i always think about this like i'm a one-man team the other night at bible study i i think i told you all like i've been going to bible study at my old church on wednesdays and the other night at bible study pastor spoke about doing everything on your own and like he basically spoke about like having people around you who hold you accountable and you know like doing everything on your own you can't like you're you need people you know like everyone needs people and if you are in a relationship your accountability partner is your spouse and if you're single then your accountability partner or partner is other people that you surround yourself with and when he spoke about that I'm just like like the message really resonated with me because I always talk about how I'm like a one man team and I do everything on my own and you know that's not how I want it to be and that's not how it's always going to be and I know that eventually I will hire and be able to hire a team to help me like run my business and um the brand that I'm creating for myself like it'll all make sense eventually and it'll be exactly what I see you know it being in the future like I'm working hard now so that I can reap the benefits later and I keep telling myself that and I'm just like sometimes it gets so hard and it gets overwhelming 
doing everything on my own it really does and like I don't want to be a one-man team like I want to have be able to hire people or whatever but like right now that's not in the cards for me and um I just have to just continue doing everything myself and know that like having people that really do like believe in me believe in my vision that want to see me win that to me is like a big deal and until I'm able to build a team and have people you know that I can like pay or afford to pay to help me like build my brown brown brand up um to what I see it being one day I guess I don't have to feel sad about the fact that I'm doing everything on my own because I guess I'm not you know <laughs> But it just feels that way because all the behind the scenes work is basically what I do on my own. And sometimes it becomes a lot and I have to sacrifice a lot, a lot to be able to get this thing off the ground. But soon, my friends, soon everything will come together. And that's what I just have to keep telling myself. But anyway, I just sat here and chatted for like 15 minutes and I told myself I was going to stop doing that. So that's it. <laughs> good morning you guys welcome to another day in the vlog i'm about to wash my face it's 8 48 we've all been up since like six over here we were playing around kind of goofing off this morning i'm gonna make leah and i some breakfast but really quick i'm gonna do some skincare and wash my face and i'm gonna show you guys what i've been using because remember i told you i have like a blemish here blemish here and they've like faded so i'm going to show you guys what i've been using but i cut this brush thing i also have like a shower thing it's from the brand pmd and i've been using this to wash my face i just take and put the cleanser on it and i'm kind of doing it messy today but put the cleanser on and then it vibrates put some water on it And I do this for like three minutes. Oh. My face is nice and clean. I have these samples that I received from Estee Lauder. I got this like this is the bigger bottle this stuff is amazing this stuff is so good I used to use this years ago and then I stopped and they sent me one of these and I started back using it I'm like when I run out of this I'm buying another one because this stuff is really good but you can use it in the morning and at night um, it is super hydrating and they sent me like a bunch of these little samples so I've been using the samples I think this one might be empty because I've been, been like getting every little droplet out of here. Rub it all in. This little handheld here, it gets hot on this side. You just press this little button here. I don't know if you can really see it, but you press it here and it lights up red, but it starts getting warm. And you can also turn on the vibrate. This honestly reminds me so much of this um, little solo wave one that I got. I just like that this is bigger and I like that there is more than one use for it. It feels really good, especially by the temples. And I've been dealing with um, like sinus headaches and that like pressure, you know? So I've been using this for that and it feels, oh, it feels amazing. <laughs> And this is not sponsored by the way, I just was like cleaning out my closet and I told you guys I found like a bunch of products that I haven't used in a while or never used before and I've been putting everything to use. <laughs> For moisturizer, I've been using the LMS. This is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. 
with SPF 30. I've really been using it because it has SPF in it and then realized that I actually really like it. It's super, super hydrating and it doesn't feel heavy or thick on the skin, which I can get behind. And all I know is that my face has been clearing up and I don't have any like active breakouts or anything like that. So listen, I like to stick to what works. The Bright Eyes Eye Cream by the brand Hero. I like this because it's cooling and it has the applicator. If any brands are watching this, when you create your eye creams, create them with applicators. It makes it so much easier and more appealing to the consumer, especially me. woke up and did my lashes this morning because my eyes were super puffy again today i put my allergy drops in too this morning so they kind of helped but i did my lashes even though they're probably going to come out but i just felt better about how my eyes were looking today they were super puffy but you guys see how glowy my skin is like super hydrated i'm gonna put some of this keys brow gel my eyebrows my brows have grown so much you guys you probably can't really tell because they're so fine but they've grown in so much and i'm so happy i'm gonna continue using castor oil so that is it for my morning skincare routine i'm gonna put all of my stuff away and then we're gonna head downstairs and make breakfast i have my greens blend as well as my vitamins this morning i just do a scoop full And I just drink it like this. And I won't even sit here and lie and say it's good. It's not. It's nasty. You can mix it in with a smoothie if you just cannot take it. But I just drink it. This stuff detoxes your body. I drink it on an empty stomach. Uh, mainly because, I don't know, I just feel like it makes more sense to do it that way. But it detoxes. So, forewarning. And I just try to get it over with because I'm going to make some pancakes some eggs and some bacon i'm actually gonna put blueberries on my pancakes i've been doing that lately and i really love the way that it's turned out so that's what we're gonna have for breakfast i'm gonna finish this up and then start cooking here's to a snatched waist may we all have one mm. i actually changed my mind i think i'm gonna make these pancakes today because they expire in a few months or <laughs> it's like it will be too late to make them in a few months so we're gonna have these and these are some of my favorites i got them from trader joe's clearly it says it there but they are the pumpkin pancakes and these are fire you know it's kind of funny how a room full of things feels completely empty when you're not in the wings. How could I have known the fortune I would find? A piece deep in my bones. The beauty day and night and you Touching it. 
every space and how it makes any place feel like I'm kind of lucky that when I hit a wall, I know I can climb up. Cause you're the ground beneath it all. So, someone got a pancake. We don't put any butter on it, but look at how excited. <laughs> this little baby pancake. Okay, come here. Over here with his little Cheerios. Here, mom could break it up for you. There we go. Kiss my beautiful wife goodbye, and then I'm off to my board. Do you want to just pull up? That's all the champagne that I have left. What the heck? I made myself an iced oat milk, what is it, iced oat milk lavender latte, or lavender oat milk latte, yes, that's it. I'm gonna make it over on my Instagram, it'll be the first post that I make on my, the Zimbarista Instagram account that I created and never posted on there, but um, basically all I do is a tablespoon of lavender and then a tablespoon of condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk sweetened condensed milk and then i add ice i shake it up add oat milk add more ice and that's the drink and it is y'all it is so good very similar to the honey the lavender honey iced oat milk latte but i'm about to turn on sex in the city i've been watching sex in the city and let me just comment on sex in the city if you've never watched it before you can skip this part but if you have watched it because this is actually my first time like watching it all the way through i don't know when i was younger a bit younger still like the appropriate age to be able to watch it i didn't watch it when i was like a kid but when i was a bit younger and i tried watching it i couldn't get into it and then i watched the movies and i loved the movies hold on sorry it's insecure <laughs> but um that's another show that i cannot get into i don't know like insecure i felt like when i first started i'm like eh, and i couldn't really get into it but i hear so many people talking about it and so many people love it i'm like i kind of want to see what the hype is about but i love easter ray don't get me wrong like i love her down but i cannot get into insecure so i don't know when does this start getting good because then if it's just the first season ain't really hidden or like the first few episodes don't really hit then let me know because i really want to get into it but anyway back to sex in the city i've been watching it and y'all when i tell you carrie gets on my nerve i cannot stand carrie she gets her character gets on my nerve let me tell y'all how deep in i am i went on reddit reddit has like a whole thread dedicated to sex in the city and i went on there because i'm like i just wanted to see what other people say because whenever i'm watching a show reading a book you know watching a movie whatever i like to experience it with other people because i want to comment you know i like to have a nice little dialogue and i like to see what other people think about like the different characters and, and like the plot and all of that right so i go on reddit there are some people who feel like carrie wasn't the villain and a lot of us i think majority of us can agree that mr big is a major f boy okay aiden was such a sweetheart aiden was a sweetheart carrie did not deserve Aiden at all like I started to get so annoyed with her when she would get irritated with Aiden she was acting like he was the problem because in reality she wanted to be with Mr. Big she's drawn to toxicity I feel like there are other people who can relate to not proud of but can relate to being like Carrie's character more so like drawn to toxicity and when you meet like a nice guy or a good person it's like you do everything to sabotage that relationship because you're just drawn to more of like toxic people and relationships and attachment styles but carrie irks she irks me i have a hard time watching now i'm in season five but i have a hard time watching because of her character charlotte is my favorite i love charlotte like she has this innocence about her she's very um traditional in you know the her values and she has morals so i really i really enjoy charlotte samantha 
though she is <laughs> though she is not the ideal situation um i love that she is just herself like she doesn't play by anyone else's rules um she just kind of like living her life yes yeah, she is a what many would refer to as she's promiscuous um i can't relate to that however i love that she's just herself like she just she's just living her life doing what she wants to do it is what it is she's getting to a point now where she's starting to feel a bit weird about not weird but like maybe slightly self-conscious of like her choices because she starts to like project onto her friends all in all i really like samantha's character she is hilarious she keeps the show going miranda is the other one i'm like giving y'all a whole little rundown i hope you guys don't mind but I'm just so into this show. Like I said, I'm deep in, I'm season five now. But Miranda, I feel like she deals with insecurities. And so the choices that she makes reflect that. Just to give an example, when she got pregnant with Steve's child, oh, I feel like I'm like ruining this. But like I said, if you wanna watch this, it, look, when she got pregnant with Steve's child and she ended up having the child, she didn't wanna tell the other guy that she was, she wasn't even dating him. Like she hooked up with him once and then he came back around like after she had the baby and she didn't want to tell him that she had a baby because she felt like like he wouldn't like her and then even the episode when the guy referred to her as sexy she was taken aback like you know she couldn't believe that he thought she was sexy so i think a lot of her decisions just are a reflection of the way that she feels about herself i think that's how people are in general like the decisions you make are a reflection of and the people you engage with and become intimate with and so on and so forth is it's just a reflection of the way that you feel about yourself but all in all i have been enjoying the show so if you guys watch it too let me know your comments down below who is your favorite character what do you think about carrie and mr big i'm so curious to know what you guys think about carrie and mr big because i cannot stand mr big but he literally plays her like a fiddle he plays her like a fiddle and she the fact that she had i don't want to ruin it for those of you who haven't watched it so if you haven't watched it please skip this part but like the fact that she had the audacity to cheat on aiden with mr big then cried to Aiden to have him back only for her to still keep the relationship with Mr. Big and then tell Aiden he has to basically like you got to deal with it because I'm not getting rid of him yeah he played in my face so many times then end up getting married moved to another country but I'm still he, he needs to be a part of my life is the self-esteem in the room with us because girl she gets all mine i'm like but yeah anyway let me know y'all thoughts on uh, carrie and mr big carrie and aiden um samantha all the characters let me know your thoughts on them also something that i want to say about charlotte let me not leave her out because she ain't off the hook either even though i really like her and she is my favorite character i feel like charlotte was so desperate to get married and i feel like this is something that a lot of women do like i feel like a lot of women are like desperate to get married because you know you feel like it's the way and i feel like all of us or many of us not all of us but many of us desire marriage right we have to separate the desire from the desperation like when you're desperate you don't think logically carrie no not carrie i'm sorry charlotte was so desperate to get married that she was willing to just accept you know like whatever looked good it was like he looks the part he has the job he is this he said okay cool i'm willing to take it she didn't really do the legwork like his mother his mother was unbearable she was unbearable i no way i could not deal with her she was what one would consider a monster in law she was unbearable but charlotte she wanted in i don't know it would she proceeded to marry this man and i don't know the fact that his mom was in a bathroom with him while he was taking a bath would have been uh, that would have been enough for me but that's neither here nor there that's another thing i will never ever ever in life again date a mama's boy a mama's boy is a red flag but that's a conversation for another day but yeah charlotte she was just so desperate to get married that she just overlooked all the red flags that trey had 
but I'm glad that she got out of this situation. She did get out of that situation. She finally put her foot down. She was like, no, I'm not doing this. And she left him. So I was proud of her for that. But girl, we have to start making better choices. And I know that men should be better. Women should be better. People should be better. But we have to use discernment and make better choices because Trey was a hot mess. And then he had, he had other issues. If you watch the show, then you know. He had those issues during their marriage. Like it was, baby, it was a mess, okay? Anyway, I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to finish watching. So I'll check on with y'all in a little bit. I just made a last minute nail appointment. So Leah and I are gonna go and get our nails done. I'm gonna get my nails cut down just a little bit. because I feel like it is so much harder to bards in with long nails, but I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup. I'm just using the Ola Henriksen you can see it. it's the banana bright cc vitamin cc stick i'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes and my camera's about to die that's great and i'm gonna do some just covering my blemishes a little bit with the nars radiant creamy concealer camera died <laughs> I'm just filling in my eyebrows slightly and this is the benefit goof poof brow pencil you guys see how my under eye area looks just from adding that little bit of product it works really well underneath um, concealer too but I didn't put on any concealer Just lining my lips with NYX uh, lip pencil in the shade Espresso. This used to be my favorite lip liner back in the day. I'm using, well, I think I'm using this. Hold on, let me see if I like, mm -mm. nope, not using that. <laughs> this is YSL shade 14. And just gonna cut a little bit. I think this is the lip shine. Shoot. But I really want it like a pinkish center. I just feel like this is too pink. That's a little too pink. I don't like that. I'll find a gloss in my bag, but this is what we're going with. I'm going to show you guys my outfit really quick and then we're going to head to our nail appointment outfit of the day i'm wearing my brushed leather cleo bag and this jacket is from Ooh, i don't know i think it's from h&m or zara one of the two maybe h&m and then i just have on my take care sweatshirt with these skims outdoor collection leggings and some slouchy socks gray headband because y'all know and then um my prada sunglasses so really cute and simple and we gotta get out of here because we don't want to be late so i'll see you guys once we get there but um <laughs> before we go i always forget this i'm wearing these new balance here um these and then today's fragrance of the day is replica jazz club because it is really cold outside like we have like a freeze i don't know freeze warning or something happening tomorrow so it's really really cold here so i'm just gonna put this on because this is the perfect winter fragrance. Let's do your book bar. Nails are done. Don't mind my ashy hands. Oh, my hands are ashy. We went shorter and went with a French tip. Leah, do you want to show them your nails? They're just white. I wanted to go shorter because A, bartending, I've been like hitting them and it hurts so bad. 
even though they're not much shorter well they are much shorter leah says she couldn't tell the difference she thinks that they're so long but they are much much shorter i'm like i need rings on my fingers because i just don't like the way my hands look with short nails let me get some gas i was watching a the youtube an old youtube video of when i used to let the camera watch you while i ran in places and you always did stuff when i wasn't around <laughs> Like the, I was watching the video the other day of when you had my coffee. You were like, "This is nasty," and then you it was nasty. And then you took another sip. I was cracking up watching that video. So, for old time's sake, y'all, watch Leah. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm looking for a birthday outfit. So, I have so one. Uh, that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want one of the like tops I have is like from Hollister this red bodysuit <laughs> and then I'll get like some jeans with it or something but I don't know if I want to wear that because I also really like this one like this top <laughs> if it'll focus it's not focusing on it. Maybe I should just do a different color. It's not focusing. Okay, well, yeah. And then there, and then the back is like this. That's the back, and then that's the front. So that's like another option for a top. I don't really have many top options. I need to find more. But jean options are probably like. Are these the same? So the same jeans. Okay, I have. Okay, and maybe not those. Okay. Okay. I have these. Oh, wait. Focus it, please. Focus it. These are the bottoms, but I don't know. They they just look like the ones I already have, so I might just wear those then. What were you talking about? My birthday outfit. Oh, okay. What top are you considering? Can I see? The green one. Gas is so expensive. Gas is so expensive. You guys, I just realized, right? Why is my camera cooking? Hold on. So I just realized that I've never had this talk with Leia. The, when we get in here, don't ask for nothing. <laughs> before we go in here just so you know when we get in here don't touch nothing you're not getting nothing <laughs> the pep talk that all parents used to give their kids i never in all of leah's 14 almost 15 years have i ever had this talk with her so we're about to have this talk right now <laughs> look at her face when we get in here <laughs> and action when we get in here you smiling now but when we get in here, don't ask for nothing, don't touch nothing. Cause you don't have no money. Do you understand? <laughs> I don't know how my mom did it. We're back home and I'm about to have a little self care night. So I wanna make the espresso martini for you guys. If you have an espresso machine, you can make this recipe cause that's what I'm gonna be using. First, I need to find my martini glass. I also need more martini glasses. I only have like these two, I think. My bones are seriously cracking. Like every time I move, I am falling apart, literally. Okay, I've been learning so many different like bartending tips. Working at this new <laughs> country club, they are like very specific about a lot of things and I feel like it makes my drinks so much better with like what I've learned from them. So thankful for that. But okay, so I got my shaker here. And one of the things that they taught us and every bartender should know this, but honestly, like I've only bartended at a golf club. So you're supposed to build your drink, like build your drink in the glass first before you add the ice. So I'm gonna start with Tito's. If you guys remember in the last vlog, I went and got the Trader Joe's vodka. I never tried it, cause I'm just gonna use it for decor. So I just ended up getting the Tito's. So we're gonna do about an ounce. 
of the Tito's. And then we're gonna do an ounce of sweet cream creamer. An ounce of the O'Connery's Irish liqueur. <laughs> I've had this since December. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this does not expire because that would suck. You need two ounces of this. I'm gonna do, oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure that this was really one ounce in this lid, but you do a double shot of espresso and then you add ice. And then we strain. I like to add a little bit of cinnamon to mine, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some cinnamon on top and then add three coffee beans. Or maybe four. And that is my espresso martini. I'm gonna take it upstairs to my office because I'm going to do like a little self-care night. I'll let you guys see. We can go up, come on. This is probably the best espresso martini I've ever made. Malaya and Milo are downstairs in the lower level. I have a moment of me time. I've been prioritizing myself, like making sure that I'm taking time for myself so that I could show up as the best version of myself for everyone else. It prepares me for just about everything. Just knowing that I'm also taking care of myself. Like I don't feel like I'm pouring too much into other people and not taking care of me. I took care of Malaya, Milo, fed them. They're good. They're downstairs in the, I don't wanna call it basement, but like our bonus room in the downstairs, downstairs area, we call it the family room. They're hanging out down there, well taken care of. They're safe, watching movies or whatever it is that they're doing down there. And now I get to take care of me, it feels good. So I'm gonna have, <laughs> my lemmy gummies i had a few of you guys ask me about these gummies they're the lemmy chill gummies if you really want to like float not like high but like if you really want to float and you just want to be like chill nothing phases you <laughs> but you're not trying to fall asleep take these mm. the only thing i don't like is that it gets stuck in my teeth i have my steamer over here i have it plugged in so i don't know if you can really see it but and then i'm just gonna put on this sheet mask it's from sephora i feel like sephora is slept on like their products are slept on because it's like a store brand but sephora has some bomb products i love the sephora brushes their blushes are really good um what else do i have their glosses are really good and their sheet masks like they have really good products and they're only like three or four bucks this one is the skin perfecting and radiance sheet mask. Let me turn my steamer on. I also like to mask my lips. This helps to really hydrate your lips if you have really dry lips. Just using the jade roller for more of like a facial massage but also to penetrate the product deeper pretty sure i just tasted a bit of mask residue in my drink So it's been 10 minutes, I'm gonna take this off. Super hydrated. And I'm just gonna massage the excess into my skin. 
The steam felt so good. It helped to relieve some of the sinus pressure that I was feeling in my face. I'm also gonna put some on my lips. Bring it down my neck. Put something on my lips. I'm just using this Rode the lip treatment. And I'm nice and hydrated. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here. All I'm gonna do is sit here and edit. I'm gonna export these clips over. I've already started editing the vlog. I only have a little bit left. So I'm gonna export the rest of the footage over and then see if I can hopefully edit it tonight. Cause honestly, I might end up falling asleep once I'm done with this, but I think that's all that I have for you guys for the weekend. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this vlog. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads and I will catch you guys in the next one.